In this video on math skills for chemistry, I want to talk about how do we figure out the number of significant figures we have in a logarithm. Anytime we have to take a log, those rules for significant figures are different. Okay, so how we figure out the number of sig figs, <laughs> excuse me, that we keep in a number when we're taking the logarithm, that's different than the rules for sig figs for multiplying and dividing and adding and subtracting. So I wanted to take a minute to make a special video just on sig figs or logarithms. Oops. So let's go through some examples. Here's the rule. The number of total significant figures in the original number is the number of decimal places you keep after you take the log. Okay, so for instance, if I have this number, one times 10 to the negative nine, that number has two sig figs, right? Because this zero is significant because of the decimal place. This is not a significant figure, that's just the 10 to the negative nine. So the actual number of sig figs in this number is two significant figures. All right, so if I take the log of that number, one times 10 to the negative ninth, so one, 0.0 e minus 9 log. If I take the number 1 times 10 to the negative 9th and I take the logarithm of it, it comes out as negative 9 on my calculator. However, because sig fig rules, the number of total sig figs is the number of decimal places you keep in your answer after taking the log. Even though my calculator says 9, my calculator doesn't know anything about significant figures. My calculator's dumb in that regard, right? It just says nine. But I know that to represent the level of accuracy in this measurement in my logarithm answer, it needs to be 9.00. If there are two sig figs in the number, you need two decimal places after you take the log. Now, if this were a pH calculation, which is probably the context that you are taking a log, pHs are always the negative log, so this would be a pH of 9.00. But if you were taking the log just for taking the log's sake, right, it would come out to be negative 9, but you would need to know to write that as 9.00. Number of total sig figs here is number of decimal places you keep after you take a log. And so here are a couple more sample problems. If I'm taking the negative log, again, we're just pretending we're doing a pH, but even if this wasn't the negative log, even if we were just taking the logarithm, right, this number has three sig figs, 1.15 times 10 to the negative third. This value has three significant figures, which means I need three decimal places after I take the log. This value has two significant figures, right? This zero is just the placeholder. It's not a significant figure. This has two significant figures, so I need two decimal places after I take the log. Now, when you go the other way, when you undo a logarithm, you're reversing your sig fig rules. Okay? So, for instance, you've got a logarithm. You want to know what the original number was. Well, logarithms base 10 would be raising, to undo that would be raise it to the 10. Okay? So now, number of decimal places is total number of sig figs. So let's do this one. This is a, in the context of pH, because this is the most likely con condition that you'll be dealing with logarithms. If the pH is 10.00, what is the concentration? Okay, so what I'm doing here, to undo a logarithm, it's 10 to whatever that number is, okay? Because if I took the logarithm in order to get the pH, I have to raise it to the 10 to get rid of the logarithm. All right, so if this value is 10.00, this value has two decimal places, right? Two decimal places here translates to two total sig figs here. This is just the exponent stating how far away it is from the decimal, right? So that's not part of my significant figures. There are two decimal places here, that gives us two sig figs here. So I hope this helps in terms of figuring out number of significant figures when you're taking logarithms or when you're undoing logarithms. If this is something that you're still struggling with, please feel free to email me, come see me in office hours, or make an appointment where we can chat. Thanks.